Mr. Kurt Lewis was born on October 10, 1964 in Denver, Colorado, but grew up most of his life in Pennsylvania and Virginia. His parents are Nelson and Ruth Lewis. He also has a brother named Pete. Before joining the United States Army, Mr. Lewis was a high school student. He chose to join the Army at 18 because growing up his family life wasn't the best. At the time, he thought it was the best option for him and the only place for him to go. Mr. Lewis enlisted right after graduating high school in 1983. He was then sent to basic training in Fort Knox, Kentucky. Here, he experienced a big culture shock from being a civilian to starting his life as being a soldier. During basic training, he learned all the basics on how to be a soldier as well as the rules of the Army. Growing up, Mr. Lewis played football and ran track throughout high school, which benefited him when he was a soldier because he was already in pretty good shape and used to working with others as a team. Mr. Lewis chose the Army rather than a different branch of the military because his father was in the Army before he was born and they had the best options for him at the time. After basic training, Mr. Lewis started his training to become a combat medic and LPN. He started his medical training at Fort Sam Houston, Texas to become a combat medic. After being a medic for a few years, he went back to Texas to receive more training to become a practical nurse, also known as an LPN. During this specialized training, Mr. Lewis learned how to take care of other injured soldiers, treat someone with heat exhaustion, and operate weapons and helicopters. Mr. Lewis spent his days getting up at 4 in the morning and then not going to bed again until 1 in the morning the next day. He then practiced firing his weapon, which he enjoyed. He scored expert in that category. He had some free time, too, where he would go bowling or go to the PX to get shaving supplies because it was a requirement to be perfectly shaven at all times. One time, Mr. Lewis had to do a 26-mile long road march, which was pretty painful. He also went through various physical examination type tests when his physical condition was examined. Then, Mr. Lewis passed his test, so he took part in graduation day and was shipped to his destination. He made friends with a man named Tony Love, and they practiced some training together. Throughout his military career, Mr. Lewis trained and served in Fort Knox, Kentucky, Fort Bragg, North Carolina, Fort Riley, Kansas, Fort Belvoir, Virginia, and Bamberg, Germany. Mr. Lewis was enlisted during the Cold War. However, he never saw combat. When arriving in Germany, he recalls how difficult it was to get off the plane and see all of the signs in a different language that he didn't understand. Everything and everyone speaking in a different language made trying to do the most simple tasks off base difficult. While in Germany, even though Mr. Lewis was never in combat, he was about 20 to 30 miles away from the Czechoslovakian border. He remembers seeing the Czechoslovakian soldiers and their tanks through binoculars, but he was lucky enough to never face them. Uh, I myself was never in any combat. Um, I served during the Cold War. So we, when I was in Germany, we were about 20, 30 miles from the Czechoslovakian border. Uh, and depending on what type of training we were doing that day, sometimes we'd be a little closer, other times we were pretty far. Since Mr. Lewis was never on enemy lines, his unit's main job was to deter armed aggression. His main job specifically was to take care of the soldiers that he was assigned to being a medic. Mr. Lewis was lucky enough to never face anything that he wasn't prepared for through his basic and specialized training. He would also travel from place to place either by plane, train, or other vehicle. He made a lot of close friendships with the other soldiers throughout his military career and still keeps in touch with them every now and then through social media, but has sadly lost touch with most of them. Mr. Lewis stayed in touch with his friends and family from home through a small hand radio system about once a month that they would have to sign up for ahead of time. When Mr. Lewis wasn't training or doing military-related work, he would do a lot of weightlifting or different ball games with the other soldiers. When the Cold War ended, Mr. Lewis was back home in Virginia, which he returned to after being in the military for seven years on a U.S. private aircraft from Germany. Mr. Lewis was beyond excited to be home, so happy in fact that he kissed the ground. He enjoyed being home again, but things were busy. At times, it was difficult to go from being in the Army to being a civilian again. One thing he had to get used to was not being with his good friends from the Army. He was able to keep in contact with a few of them, though. Since separating from the military, Mr. Lewis has become a registered nurse thanks to the foundation provided for him in his service. His time in service has affected him in his life and as a person because it has caused him to feel appreciation for his country and all the sacrifices that have been made to have the freedom that we have. Mr. Lewis was also taught some valuable life lessons in his service. 
He learned that you need to work hard, and if you're going to do a job, you need to give it 100% or else you shouldn't do it. Mr. Lewis has tried to teach some of these life lessons to his children over the years, as well as some of his co-workers who work under him. Mr. Lewis misses the experience of the Army and claims he would do it all over again if he could, so much so that sometimes he wishes he never would have gotten out. He tried to get back in a couple of times, but every time he ended up with an injury that prevented him from going back in. Mr. Lewis wants future generations to know that if you aren't sure what you want to do with your life, the military is a great option because you can get multiple different jobs from it, travel all over, and have a great experience. Mr. Lewis feels that he had an awesome experience in the Army. He met new people, traveled the world, learned new skills that he normally would take years to learn, and most importantly, he got to serve our country. If he hadn't joined the service, he feels that he probably would not have been very successful. From time to time, Mr. Lewis even uses his experience in daily life. His best memory of this time in his life was taking care of people who were hurt and being able to save lives. He also loved meeting new people and traveling. His worst memory was in Germany when he got stuck in a tank when it was 50 degrees below zero and he thought he was going to freeze to death. On a different note, he has kept some memorabilia. He still has his Class A uniform, including the insignia and service ribbons attached to it. He even has a medal that he kept from when he was attending a children's school's veteran ceremony. Lewis was an E5 or sergeant. He also kept his dog tags. He received a yearbook when he was in service that he kept to this day that shows different pictures from Fort Knox, Kentucky, or the Armor Center. There's pictures of the barracks where they had no air conditioning, just big giant fans. It also includes pictures of the hospital, the reception station, and many other things. When Lewis first got into training, he got his Army, air, army haircut. Um, the biggest shock was I just had a lot of hair, and they cut that all off. <laughs> Mr. Lewis used to pray that his training wouldn't be too brutal each day. They would train to get in shape and practice drilling, as well as their upcoming ceremony. Mr. Lewis practiced using an M16 and setting up mines. Officers would also inspect the soldiers and their work. Mr. Lewis always liked the inspections because he usually did pretty well at them. He would also have to do obstacle courses to practice for running in combat, and he enjoyed these. He also was taught CPR and how to use a gas mask. At one point, he had to go into a gas chamber with tear gas without his mask on so he would understand how well his mask was working if he had it on and there was a leak. He would know right away. Mr. Lewis thoroughly enjoyed his military experience and sometimes regrets his decision of leaving the Army, but also is very happy with the life he has now. These memories were all displayed in Mr. Lewis's yearbook memorabilia. He had an amazing experience in the Army and his life was changed because of it.